Miss Joyce Todd. Joyce has been with uh, Bancroft since November of 93. She's been to a few campuses around her New Jersey and then moved into Brick in 2004 when it opened. Joyce is definitely one of the social butterflies around here and goes out of her way to help other persons serve when they need to talk to them. Now, Miss Joyce. with my friends, and my heart stopped working. I fell into the pole and went to cardiac arrest. <clears throat> I, went, I was in the coma for three months. <clears throat> when I woke up, I went to two different rehab centers. They were in Delaware. I couldn't, <clears throat> excuse me, feed myself or dress. I received OT, speech, and PT. Then I lived with my family and went to outpatient rehab. When my insurance started to run out, I got, <clears throat> to me, got the on the TBI waiver and started living in Bancroft. I lived in Bancroft, excuse me, I lived at different sites in Bancroft. I've been at this for campus the longest. I go, I go to um, the program all week and receive, receive OT, cognitive therapy, and speech, and counseling. After my injury, I couldn't read. I couldn't remember much. Now, also I couldn't even write. I continue to me. In cognitive therapy, I work towards approving my reading and memory. I can now read a novel book. Very happy about that. <laughs> big, big thing. <clears throat> okay, my reading, my reading skills are getting better. And OT, I can now write my full name, and it's legible. <laughs> my good doctor, sorry. <laughs> and my hands are strong now, so. <clears throat> All my therapists support me, help me with um, whatever, whatever help I need, and my goals. I enjoy my therapies a lot. Bancroft is a good place. I always have someone to help me, whatever I need. I thank Margaret for starting Bancroft. I could not be where I'm at today if it wasn't for her. And Bancroft. Is anybody else hot here? <laughs> 